Bro, look at all this seaweed. What did? What did? No. Oh my gosh, it's right there. All righty. We are here at the docks. A lot of you guys have seen in the videos. We're gonna just scope them out real quick, see if we see anything. And if we do, we got the bucket, so we can possibly take it home for one of our aquariums. Oh, yo, look at this. The barracuda just marked the fish. He's got it in his mouth. He's eating it. Dude, I literally watched him swipe the fish and just completely cut it in half. Oh my gosh. First thing we see when we walk up. Bunch of seaweed right here, that's a good sign. Let's definitely go through that real quick, see if we find anything. of stuff hangs out underneath so you're not able to see it but holy cow that's a lot of seaweed right there there's one right there little crab but look at how good this thing blends in with the seaweed like you literally almost never tell that there's a crab in there that's why all these bigger fish are hanging out underneath here all these little crabs and shrimp fall out and they get a meal May get lucky and find a seahorse. What's that? Oh, little spearfish. And that's exactly what I was talking about. These little guys just hang out underneath the seaweed and eat all the little shrimp, all the little crabs. And uh, it's just like a little ecosystem. Crab for days. That's it. Nothing really crazy. Oh, I already see a bunch of puffer fish, dude. Oh my gosh, look at him in the seaweed. You can definitely see him, but he, he's pretty close to blending in. That is so epic. That's like a legit porcupine puffer. The ones you buy at like a fish shop. We got him. Definitely got him. I hear him. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this puffer fish right there. He's puffed up. That's not the best thing. So we're gonna get him in this bucket. We're not gonna disturb him too much. because We don't want him. It's not good for them to puff up, but sometimes they don't mean to. It's just their defense, but he'll go down. Look at that shrimp, nice old shrimp. That's a little crab, we'll get him. <laughs> Look at that, a little crab. Just ate the crab. What did? No, oh my gosh, he's right there. He ate the crab? He ate the crab, he just blew up on it. Did I get him? I got him. Bro, I got him. I got him. Let's get him in the bucket quick before he puffs up. No way. <laughs> no way. I had that little crab in my hand. I threw it in the water. The puffer fish came out, ate the crab, and that's how we were able to see him. And we ended up netting him, getting him in the bucket, no blow ups or nothing. So um, I'm kind of lost at words right now. I can't believe that just happened. Like. What are the chances? Throwing a crab and a puffer fish comes out and eats it. Like you're, you're obviously can see them, but you know, when we're looking in you, I didn't realize they were there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't even have to go to an aquarium yeah. shop and buy yeah. them. Yeah. I'm sorry, we're using your bucket now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is an educational tour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my but gosh. We got a giant porcupine puffer along with a baby porcupine puffer. They're both doing awesome. At first, the little guy puffed up. He was a little bit scared, but as you can see, he's now swimming away with his big brother and everything's looking good. That is epic. The fact that we can just come out here, guys, and catch our own aquarium fish and not have to pay $200 at the pet store, it's awesome. So you can't, you can't explain the feeling because it's literally the same thing that these guys do when they go out and sell them at a pet store, but we're just skipping that middle step and doing it ourselves. Look at this. So at first we thought that was a big puffer fish. Then we threw the crab in and we saw that guy come out and eat it and we were like, holy cow, we gotta get him. And we ended up getting him. So we're definitely gonna get these guys back for the pond. It's very rare to come by porcupine puffer fish. So we're taking them. Dude, this is low key reminding me of our golden puffer. This is a sign from heaven from him. He just gifted us a wild porcupine puffer. Very, very rare to come by and shout out to my boy Goldie, man. 
Shout out to my boy Golden. We are back at the house. Our puffer fish here have been acclimating for about 30 minutes and they look pretty well. So we're gonna get them in the quarantine pond. They're gonna go through quarantine for about two to three weeks. Once we start seeing signs of them all healthy, clear of parasites, they will then go in to the 6,000 gallon pond. But they gotta go through this process. Any new fish from here on out going through quarantine so we don't have any parasites in the future. So pretty, I love how we got like a mini one and then a larger one. He'll definitely be able to go in the pond at like, we'll get him a little bit bigger and then he'll go in there probably another two or three inches. But this guy, he'll go in the 200 gallon, the smaller one until he gets to about that size. Come here, buddy. We wanna do this without any puff up. So I'm gonna go really quick. Just boom, no puffs. Perfect, dude. <laughs> That's so epic. Give me some. Dude, this is sick. We literally just went out there today, caught our own puffer fish, like legit aquarium puffer fish, and uh, we're now putting them in our pond. And the best part about it, if you don't know, these guys have like the best personality on a fish. So like once he gets used to us and like knows we're feeding him, this thing's gonna absolutely come up to us every time, just put on a show for you guys. It's gonna be epic. Little guy is up. He puffed up, so we're gonna try to avoid that. Come here, buddy, it's all right, it's all right. Ah, oh, go down, go down. Boom, let's go. He's good. <laughs> Look how cute he is, bro. He's gotta find his big brother. He's like, where'd he go? Releasing all that air out, that's exactly what we were looking for. It's very risky while transferring puffer fish. As you guys know, we ended up losing one of our rarest puffer fish, Goldilocks, uh, to a fish transfer. If you're not aware, when you take a puffer fish out of water, they can possibly die sometimes from them puffing up. So it's best to try to like make it as less stressful as possible. And that's kind of the only way to have a success when transferring these guys. I am gonna add some of their seaweed that we got today into the pond just so they have some little crabs and shrimp they can feed on. It will also stay alive for a pretty long time. Again, this is not their forever home. This is temporary until they go into their 6,000 gallon saltwater pond right here. This thing's massive, filled with rocks, and they'll be able to live a great life in here for sure. We got some little krill right here. Now I highly doubt this, but we're gonna try. I have, I've had fish eat the first day. We're gonna see. If this guy eats, he's very healthy. No way, bro. <laughs> no way. Dude, guys, we put these fish in not even five minutes ago. They're already eating. So for anyone who says, oh, this is so mean, these fish are, they're stressed out. Clearly not. They're eating literally five minutes later, so. Uh, yeah. You are so cute. Yo, this little guy is so cute, bro. Look at his little face. He's like a little, like a ball. And that right there wraps up today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, comment down below names for our new porcupine puffer fish. These guys are gonna be a big part of the channel. You'll definitely see them a lot. And in two to three weeks, we'll be adding them to the 6,000 gallon pond. With that being said, we'll see y'all in the next one. See you!